Today, we speak with Chudo. Chudo is a 12 year old boy who was born with a facial disfigurement. Chudo is often held as a local hero because of his charity work he completes with charities that help children with disfigurements. Chudo never thought that his facial disfigurement would get in the way of him making friends at secondary school. Hi Chudo, what toy is that? Oh, they're called the cape. Wow Chudo, very cool. So, do you remember your first day of secondary school? Yeah, I remember it. Well, I've been homeschooled my whole life, so it was exciting to have my very own locker. I was even more excited to make friends, as I've never really had any. And I remember the night before, I joined every social media to prepare for, you know, all of my new friends. So, I was very confused when I read the messages on my phone. They were... They were really mean. I just didn't understand. I still went to class as I couldn't be late on my first day. The words hurt, but I still pressed on. And I thought, surely not everyone is going to be so mean. But I was very wrong. The whole time, other kids avoided me. And I sat alone and had things thrown at me. At this point, I was sure it was some kind of prank, right? After maths, it was break time. At this point, I wasn't even excited, but I still hoped that break time would be like a good opportunity for me to make some friends. I, I remember standing near a wall, really nervous actually, and a football bounced towards me and I thought to myself, this is it, this is my chance. He's so ugly. Get away. Go back inside. That was the worst I've ever felt for a long time. I just walked back inside. Even when Three. I was just walking through ugly. the hallway, people Three. seemed to, like, it's hate good. me. They were okay, all whispering no. with each other and just making fun of the way I look. I felt like when I was alone, I was safe. After soaking in everyone's mean words, I saw what they saw in me, a monster. I remember being like horrified. I just ran away, getting lost in the long hallways. But I ran till I ran out of breath. It was like a sign. I found this poster board and there was this one poster in colour standing out. It was a child line poster to help deal with bullying. I took a photo of it with intentions to call it. So that's what I did straight after that awful day was over. To my surprise, Childline helped me with everything, setting up a support system at school for me. I had someone I could speak to at school now and I felt comfortable enough to go back into school and give it another go. They also helped me with good ways to deal with the comments. I felt comfortable in my own skin again. I made friends too. Things couldn't be better. And... I finally felt like a hero again. I'm just glad Childline were there to help me. And I'm sure if anyone is in a situation like me, they could give them a call. After all, it's anonymous. 